What's going on guys, Mega Rope here bringing you some more God Eater Burst for the PSP and in the last episode we did a couple more story missions. I don't, I think they had more, um, you know, interaction with the actual story, but um, let's go ahead and jump right into this one. And we have Soma on our team, we can bring two other people, so I'm going to bring her and I'm going to bring him. So let's just go ahead and start this mission. Um, advice about my, there's no need. Alright, so let's just go and go to the lobby and then start this mission, but, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna see if I can do anything in my blade and my guns before I go, but, uh, equipment, change, oh, it already did, never mind, I'm so stupid, <laughs> okay, items, uh, I should wanna withdraw, withdraw, okay, nope, hello, 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 okay, uh, Okay, so that's all I can bring. Alright, so let's go ahead and do this. We have to fight the Var Varaha. <clears throat> oh, I can never say this right. Vajra. In this episode. And something else. I don't remember what it was, but... Okay, I need to finish this dude off right now, because he's about to kill me. Okay. There we go. I did that last hit, even though you can't see, but I definitely did. So don't question me. Fine lubricant, origami fang. Origami fang. I'll slash you up. <laughs> Alright. Let me go to the other side of this building and see if we can find any items some shinies some shiny things i feel like that's from another game too other than sonic boom hmm you know what who's what did you say Head home and relax. shut up me i'll kill you oh there we go no you fat fool ah nah it wasn't even what i wanted oh, oh where do you get this stuff i gotta look this stuff on the, on the wiki where you get uh, armored fiber and cowhide, like, I want me that new jacket, though. Like, you don't even know. Rank A, nice. All right, no cutscene. I see how it is. Thank you very much for keeping out on me. <sighs> oh, okay, so he's looking for me again. I guess I'm gonna cut that video pretty good. To, to a pretty good length, and then do another video, do another uh, mission, maybe. All right. Um, can I buy the maximum, please? Stop cheaping out on me, bruh. Um, let's see if we see if we have or if he has what we need. Nope, that's what I thought. 
So let's just go ahead and go to Dr. Sakaki, like she said. So. Um, what? Executive room, laboratory. Oh, he's in the laboratory. Sick bay. Dr. Sakaki. Well, sorry to keep summoning you, but I have a special favor to ask of you today. As always, I'll be sending you on an Aragami extermination mission. The team for this mission will be Sakuya, Alyssa, and to complete the group, Kota. Oh, and there's no need to worry about mustering any more troops. I've done some contriving to make this seem like a routine mission. That's all from me. I'm looking forward to the results. Now then, I must go and prepare to receive my guests. Yeah, so what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is show me fighting like both of those monsters for like one minute, I guess, one minute each, and then uh, cut the rest of it. And yeah, I'll just do this and do the same with these uh, Aragami. So uh, let's see. Actually, let's see if we can equipment upgrade. Nope. 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 Now let's craft, see if we can craft anything. Good. Nope. Um, hmm. Obviously we can't. Oh, sniper pants. Oh, that's pretty cool. I might change to these once I get the uh, other shirt. Hmm. I'm trying. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to try and get this one. Yes. But uh, that's enough wasting time. What are we actually fighting again? Mission check. Hmm. Wow. Are you for real? Hmm. 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 <sighs> Let's go. I really don't want to do this. <laughs> I honestly do not feel like fighting these guys like for the for our oh my gosh this dude just like came out the cut he was like what's up and I was like oh gosh huh oh okay can we actually jump up here oh. Like a champ. Oh, never mind. What was that? What is that? Like, what do they do when they do that? I think it's actually Alyssa doing something to him to hurt him, which is actually pretty swag. Since you know, I don't know how to do that. That's pretty cool. Man, this dude's like doing freaking Dragon Ball Z key blast, and he's like, Aah! "Okay, I'm about to die." Like, let me see if there's a way I can heal myself with this. Nope, just wasted that. Wow, hello? Okay, I need to get my OP back. Okay, I'm good. Never mind, that was cool. A nice save, Coda. I think that was him. They switched bullets so fast, though. Like, dang. 
There we go. Nice and eight and yes. Alright, explosive torpedo, Adrian Claw, Adrian Talon, Origami Bone. Eat that boy. Eat that boy. Sorry guys. <laughs> Eat that boy. Sorry guys. <laughs> I just wanna disgrace his body, cause yeah. <laughs> I'm a jerk. Oh yes. Ooh. Ooh. Just look at the sky, look up at the sky. Huh? Shut up. I'm gonna watch and Adventure Time when I get back. Yes. <laughs> Alright, so that was it for that. I know which I know which parts I'm gonna cut out, so oops, did not mean to do that. Ugh, gotta figure out how to do that without uh clicking it by accident, so What's it doing here? I'll explain later. Just leave that origami alone. And come over here for a second, will you? It's coming. Uh, I am hungry. Well now, good to see you. So you finally decided to show yourself. Soma, thank you for bringing her here. I can be with her now, thanks to you. No need to thank me. But how about an explanation? Well, since she was being stubborn about not showing up, I eradicated what she's been feeding on in this area. Even the pickiest of eaters can't ignore the pangs of hunger, right? Man, your sneakiness at least has no peer. Um, Doctor? So, so who is this kid? Oh, right. We shouldn't be chatting here like this. I'll explain everything in my lab. I apologize for keeping it from you all this time. You, you'll come with us, won't you? I'm ready to eat. Huh? I was ready to eat? What did you just say? Um, I'll say it as many times as necessary. This is an origami. No, wait, holy! What? Oh. Now, now, calm down. This one won't prey on you, I promise. As you know, all origami share a trait known as bias. An origami's unique tendency for predatory behavior. That's the same thing our god arc uses. Isn't that right? That's correct. I'm sure that's common sense for you god-eaters. Did you? Of course. This origami's bias seems to be directed at other origami of a higher order. We humans don't even fall into the category of food, as far as she's concerned. It's a common misperception. Origami aren't born with characteristics of other life forms. Rather, they evolve at a breakneck pace through devouring. As a result of that, their diverse evolutionary potential is condensed into a very short period of time. And that's what makes an origami what it is. You mean this child? Right. Just like humankind, they temporarily got stuck in a dead end in their process of evolution. She's an origami evolving much like a human. A human-like origami, you mean? Yes. Based on an examination I conducted earlier, the equivalent of her cranial nerves and synapses seem to be functioning exactly like a human brain. Clearly, she's got an incredible capacity to learn. Quite an intriguing specimen. Doc! 
Yes, Kota? I think I got most of what you said. Actually, it was mostly way over my head. Um, exactly what does she mean when she says food? Or I'm ready to eat? Food! It sounds pretty ominous coming from her. Like I said, the bias of an origami basically dictates that it will not partake of any being similar to itself. That said, in times of dire hunger, just now for instance, she is likely to gobble up anything, no matter how unpleasant it may taste. But that's an exception to the rule. As you know, origami is just a nickname. But there have been examples of multiple entities adopting the design of what we humans envision as the gods. These have been spotted worldwide. What thought process led them to adopt such a mode of life? By what process did they come to worship gods? Don't you find that intriguing? And this origami child here, who has completely assumed a human form, is an even rarer case, you see. Oh, but I digress. Well, I think that should do it for this study group. One last thing. If you wouldn't mind, I would like to keep this a secret just between us. Are we agreed? But we'll have to report it to the advisor and the director. Sakuya, you're an exalted god-eater and protector of humankind, and yet you intend to tell your superiors that I smuggled an origami into the den? The headquarters at the battlefront? Well, no. But why exactly did you do it? Didn't I tell you before? Because she's a valuable sample. She's merely the subject of an important personal research project. That's all. Don't worry. I made sure this room had its own communications infrastructure and security system. It's not linked to the other sections. Now, I'm sure you wouldn't want anyone prying needlessly into your private affairs either, would you? Oh, and by the way, you and I are already accomplices in all this. Ready to eat! I'd like you to be her friend. You too, Soma. Please, look out for her. Don't be ridiculous. She may be good at imitating humans, but she's still a monster. Now then, will the human turn into a god, or a god into a human? Let the race begin. Alright, so as you can see there, we had a new character to the roster, character set, I don't know, cast, but um, uh, yeah, that was she, yeah, I almost spoiled it, I almost said her name, uh, that was the origami girl, and she will play a very big role in this game, uh, cause with her relationship to some of the characters, mainly a little jerk face that we all know, ooh, cowhide, ooh, cowhide, 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 <laughs> why did I screech so loud, what the heck, um, let me just go ahead and buy three. And do we have the other thing that we need? Cowhide, fleece, knit, fake leather. He's not even trying to hide that it's fake. Okay. But um yeah, she'll play a very big part in this whole game. But um yeah, that will be saved. We'll find out more about that in the next episode because we already done two missions today, so yes that will be it and yeah as you as usual if you uh, enjoyed then you know remember to leave a like and a comment and next episode we'll be going to do whatever that mission was i can't uh what is it i can't uh see what it was what was it let me go see it was black something black alligator and we have to fight uh another vara really okay uh yeah we're gonna fight that and yes Peace out. I'm trying to do this really slow so I can in include me looking at this. Okay. Okay. Oh! Here it is! Here it is! Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. There's so many cool. Oh my gosh! There are so many cool costumes. But for now, I'm just going to buy these ones. These, This is the one. This is the one. This is the outfit that I was talking about. This is the outfit that I was talking about. I'm not going to buy. Hmm. Hmm. Hold up. Wait a minute. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. 
Trying to see what paints go good with it. But yeah, I'm sure that that is. I am so sure that that's the uh, the outfit. So that'll be good. That is good. Okay. Which ones that I have on right now? I have these ones on? That doesn't look nearly as good. Um. Maybe I'll buy these. You know, just look like a gangster. No, I'm just joking. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. All right, for now, I think we'll just uh, keep it as it is, uh, like this. Actually, worked like this. So, or hold up. I'm so indecisive with this one world. I remember this is what I used to have, but now it's not looking so snazzy in my eyes. But um. Uh, whatever this should be good so um yeah that's it for this episode like i said like i said 30 seconds ago leave a like and a comment for if you enjoyed and uh yeah peace we'll continue the story in the next episode peace got my new outfit my new duds yes